A combination of biological, psychological, and social causes create depression. Yet sometimes it is totally misunderstood or least understood. In the series on depression, we are going to talk to Dr. Ambika Nair, an Ayurvedic specialist, co-founder and chief consultant at Shantigram Group of Companies, who have offices and clinics in the tri-state and also do online consultation. Last week, we started the series and it is a lengthy series. So we're going to keep it in a capsule to make our viewers understand this problem and understand what are the treatment options available, curable, treatable, manageable, all these aspects we will talk. Let's welcome Dr. Ambika Nair first. Namaskaram, Doctor. Namaskaram, Madhuri. Dr. Nair, the weather is cold. One day it is hot, one day it's warm. Suddenly it feels like spring, especially for people in the tri-state. We depend totally on the sun and we think today our mood has changed because there's no sunlight or because it's cold or because there's too many dishes in the sink or because it's the office snowing. <laughs> it's snowing also. So we are talking about the series on depression. Just let's quickly just touch base on the definition of depression and then we'll go to today's episode on uh, what is the next aspect? What is the You know, like because you were very active, you become very slow, mm -hmm. you cannot, you know, concentrate on so many things, you cannot focus, you have no interest actually, disinterest in everything. Uh -huh. Even cooking, you know, who was cooking very nicely, who was able to do everything very, very fast, those people will come, you know, like very slow in every action. You know, like it is a, you know, like a Manasya Dushti involved with the Tama Pradhana, uh -huh. Dosha. So that is, you know, that no, no life inside for them. They feel that what for we are doing all those things. Because there is. So it can be because of any, you know, like a abuse at how ladies suffer actually mostly with this. Okay. So today in that same series, today we want to talk an aspect of depression, which is called major depressive disorder. Now, please explain to us. I know you're very patient. Sometimes I ask the same question many times because I want our viewers also to understand the depth of a problem. So what is major depressive disorder? How is it different from the de depression definition that you just explained to us? See, it can, you know, it is always related with the kapha. See, as you told in the starting, you know, like introduction, today it is very cold. I told, you know, like it was uh, like it's snowing also. So you don't feel like going outside, you understand? No? The mm -hmm. same thing that happens, you know, that is called a kapha. Kapha means earth. Earth is made of sand and water. So if the water retention is more and if you are, if you are putting a lot of weight, you know, like you, you become like a very in a depressive mood. You know, your digestion will be very poor. You sleep a lot. That is the most thing that people will tell you because this fellow, this lady, you know, she never used to sleep. Now, even like a toddler ways, because people come to me and tell, now I can sleep anywhere. It can be with the sleep apnea also, but it is also a kapha disorder. So like even toddler ways, they don't feel complete. They don't feel active. Even, you know, that they see after the sleep, you have to be very fresh. So in True. this case, they will not feel any active at that time. So this is all, you know, like a, and overeating. Their mood sings a lot, they get angry very fast, small, small things will get, you know, like stuck in their mind. If if I scold you, you will tell, you know, like, you know, she scolded me. So that become a very big depression. So whether it is small or big, small things will aggravate their mind. So they get, you know, like everything it is a negative, negative thought process. Fear, something will go wrong. So this all, you know, like their confidence is not there. So and this can happen even in the childhood also. That's why it is a major. So this can, you know, like the, so it can come, you know, like at that time they have treated him or treated, treated the patient. So after a spell of like in the uh, adolescence, again it came, again it comes, you know, like during their like 20 years, 21 years, then, you know, like so, so many people get married, you know, by thinking that, you know, the patient will be perfect after the marriage. But after the marriage also, this depression prevails. Dr. Nair, now I'm getting so concerned about all the explanation that you've given about major depressive disorder because we assume, oh, it must be your PMS or oh, it must be postpartum or oh, it is just like you are acting to be lazy. These are the common terms that we use very often and very loosely and we fail to realize how much it is damaging the person whom this is being addressed to. And the, th the thing that you just mentioned that the uh, patient or the concerned symptom here is sleeping. Uh, you you never get enough sleep. You're always sleeping. All these kind of terms we use very, very easily. 
And I think I'm also guilty of that. I'm okay to openly address this. So let's talk a little more about, is, you just mentioned that it is more common among women. Now let's just touch base on men also. How often have you seen men patients, male patients? Men I have seen like, uh, but more in ladies I have seen. Okay. So okay, what, men also we have seen a lot of, because that is anxiety a lot. Anxiety yeah. and fear. Okay. So much of anxiety to do the things in the right. Some people are very, very positive anxiety. That is to do the things in the right way. Okay. But when they feel that, you know, that fear of, you know, like uh, failure in life. The, so that the, is the, anxiety, but depression I have seen, like so many cases I have seen, but not like ladies. Not like ladies. Now there is there is a question that has just come up to me. They said, you know, my spouse is working the entire week, but Saturday, Sunday, he's sleeping nonstop. So is it a depression? No, it could also be that he is tired. So let's have that factor different. <laughs> or it could be a wife also who's tired and sleeping. Sleep is a very important aspect. Dr. Nair has very clearly insisted this on many times that uh, you need to be rested. <laughs> so so, so well, see, not to I, sleep. They can it's order food from outside and sleep on that. They don't work one day. So it is so easy to misunderstand a basic information and assume and self-diagnose ourselves. So please don't do that, friends. Uh, consult a doctor if it's a chronic problem and you feel there is something concerning in this particular issue. So Dr. Nair, major depressive disorder. Is it a lifelong problem or it can be cured? It or can be managed, actually, you know, like, see what we have to do. How we take care of the, the you know, like you know, depression, you know, how we can manage. First of all, what we will do, we diagnose the patient and we see that where they went wrong and what they have to eat and how they, we can take care of them, what we can expect from them. So we always tell them how much you are going to help, I'm going to help you. So counseling is more important, you know, like in these cases. Too much counseling, taking them into confidence. Their fear has to, they have to have a confidence in you that I am going to take care of them. Otherwise, they will never come to you. Mm -hmm. Doctor, but it's so difficult. Ego, stubbornness, self-esteem. No, I don't have this problem. You don't decide for me. Every family goes through this, and especially in subcontinent families, this has become a tug of war. And I'm sure most of your patients do talk about this, if I can be, you know, assessing that in advance, that it's very difficult to convince somebody to come to a doctor, especially when they have depression or any kind of mental, uh, um, you know, health issues. How do we handle that? How do you, what do you want to tell the uh, okay. You are absolutely right. Actually, people will manage themselves a lot, whatever, whether it is with Google or whatever it is, they will do a lot of research. They go to so many psychiatrists because they get angry so wild, they become so destructive at times if they are on that anger, you know, like then they will not listen. They will, some people will go even, you know, like uh, they get separated from the family. They don't even, they don't like to take care of any responsibility. I understand now. Whole night they may not sleep. They will sleep only in the daytime. They will always, when they come to us, you know, they will tell them, you don't understand, you don't understand. Then I will tell, let me try to understand you. Then I take the pulse and I tell everything what they are having because that is Nadi Paricha. Then they will have confidence. Now I have confidence in you, they will tell. Then we tell about, you know, what you need to do. You want me to help you? Yes, doctor, you have to help me. So we go with that, actually. That confidence, you know, making them, that is very, very important, actually. And, you know, the help, help of the family or any house. Children, I have a lot. Ladies, I have a lot. So many, even men, I, we have a lot. But we always take the, you know, the spouse has to be with us. Otherwise, it is not... You know, we have to counsel them also. Then only things will change. So friends, today we are talking about major depressive disorder, male, female, children. It can affect anybody, any age group. When Dr. Nair is explaining to us certain case studies, she's talking about her experience of the patients that are coming to her clinic. And that's how we are trying to help our viewers to get more information about certain health conditions. And in the series on mental health, we are talking about depression. Today is the second episode on that particular series. And we'll discuss furthermore and try to understand through a case study, if any, with Dr. Nair as to how it is being treated at her clinic. So Dr. Nair, any examples that you want to give to our viewers so that they can understand a little more and approach you? Yeah, yeah. I had a, you know, like a, the, the lady, she was 29 year old. So she was under, 
you know, like a medical treatment, like a psychiatric treatment for, she got married at the age of 19 or so. Uh -huh. So she had two children also. Uh -huh. But she was the, see, the husband only telephoned and asked me whether you treat such cases. I told you bring. Okay. So when, you know, like she was very reluctant to come to the clinic. So after seeing me, you know, like she, she didn't want to sit. So mm -hmm. first we told, anyway, you came, let me have a look at you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then he told that because the history was telling that she has been treated with so many, like since so many years, like after the marriage, till marriage, she was perfectly all right. Mm -hmm. So she had adjustment issues at home, whether, you know, like adjustment with the husband, adjustment with the, with the, you know, like all mother-in-law, sister-in-law or anybody, any inmates in the house. <clears throat> Her mother had uh, thyroid issues, mm -hmm. but she didn't have any thyroid issues. Okay. But it was a borderline case of, case of hypothyroidism also when we saw the pulse, you know, like after the Nadi Pariksha. Then, you know, like uh, because of her nature, husband did not take her you know she, he, she was uh, kept alone mm -hmm. not to get socialized okay he will not take her out for anything so this all made her so much mentally upset and oh. you know she already had insomnia and all because of the medication she was sleeping a lot okay very depressive mood fear attempted suicidal you know like attempts a lot oh. and uh, this is like, you know, she was, what to do, where to go, because actually she did not have her parents. Oh. Okay. So that they died in a car accident or something. So there are some predisposing factors also. Why he told sure. she got depressed. Mm -hmm. So anyway, she sat in front of me. We started, you know, like a counseling her and asking her, you know, like how it happened and all. Then she told everything to me how it happened. He was very abusive also. He was an alcoholic also. So because of her nature, then she has gone into deep depression. Okay. Then the line of treatment was like, you know, like a first itself because she was a kapha ja uh -huh. and kapha so that, you know, that we have to give her like a vamana. So induce, we give the ghee preparation and we, we do that actually so uh -huh. that all the toxins will come out. Then Virajana was given to her. Then whole body, Panchakarma was given, Nasyam was given, Shirodhara was given, mm -hmm. Steam bath was given, okay, Shiro Pichu was given. And like three weeks, every day was a new day for her. Okay. And slowly, slowly her psychiatrist also reduced her medicines. Wow, very nice. Okay. Okay, so that was a very good, very good experience. Not only that we have no a lot of cases like this. So yeah. Doing so, the, so all these cases or any kind of treatments, whether you know mental, physical, or you know biological issues, it patience is required from both these sides, and doctors are there to give you patient advice. Friends, here is just a small case study that Dr. Nair has explained to you that the treatment procedure is not difficult; it is very understanding and it is very easy to follow. So, apart from this, we also want to let our viewers know that if you are going through any kind of psychological or family counseling or any kind of counseling, please continue to do that. And other aspects, Dr. Nair will also explain once you go to the clinic. So please help each other and let's make this community much more stronger because more and more talk about mental health, well-being is, become is becoming very active in the community. So in the series of uh, uh, mental health, we picked up a topic, depression. And in that, we, today we, did, we did a second episode on major depressive disorder. We will continue the series and make it very short and capsule for you to understand that all these conditions are manageable and sometimes curable also. For that, it is the first step for you to reach out to the doctor. Thank you so much, Dr. Nair, for today's episode. Any final words to our viewers, the family members or you know, colleagues of anybody who feels that there is a condition like this, somebody that they are noticing or for, this, for themselves? Hey, sometimes you know that the mood, with the mood sinks, you know, because they will be eating a lot. That's a very worrying chest. They may not feel hungry. They will be eating. You know, later this depression and it can lead to diabetes also. Oh. So, you know, like you should always watch your eating. They should not eat any like that. We will talk in the next episode.
Absolutely, absolutely. And we will continue with the series. Please like, share and subscribe. This is a very important series that we are bringing for our community so that we can help each other. It's not about the sun. It's not about the snow. It could also be about the sun. It could also be about the snow. We don't know what the conditions are until and unless we consult a doctor and meet them, we wouldn't know. Shantigram.com is a website. Uh, make your appointments, talk to the doctor or just have a well-being checkup. Thank you so much, Dr. Nai, for today's episode. Next week, we will definitely catch up on the third episode on mental health. Thank you. Thank you.